Casa Buonarroti displays the art collections of the Buonarroti family, including the works of its most famous member, Michelangelo. It's also home to Allegory of Inclination, painted by the pioneering 17th century female artist Artemisia Gentileschi. And there's more to her than meets the eye. She wasn't always covered by a veil. This is the first frontal nude ever painted by a woman artist, so she was a groundbreaker. However, Michelangelo the Younger's nephew, who inherited the home, about 50 years later, felt that the painting was too naughty to be seen, and so he called in a famous Baroque artist, and he covered up the naughty bits with the drapery. Last year, the portrait came down from its position in the ceiling so that it could be restored. But this is no ordinary restoration project. Now, centuries after the painting was censored, technology can reveal how the artist always intended it to be seen. To remove these layers could pose a risk to the original that no one is willing to take. The challenge was to unveil the work, not physically removing the veils, but digitally. A range of photography and scanning techniques were used to read underneath the layers of paint. Images from the most significant scans were then collated in Modus Explorer, a tool created specifically for the project. We did 32 different reflectographs that went deeper and deeper into the structure of the painting. Since we were studying what lies beneath the veils, we were interested in seeing if any of the cracks actually follow the original paint of Artemisia. And we found this crack here goes along the edge of her right arm. What we're seeing in outlined in white is what we can see through the reflectograph image so we could see the arms very well. It did penetrate through this lighter veil on the upper part of the body, but they couldn't read the very, very thick applications of oil paint which the veils consist of. To go and see what is underneath the veils, we had to use x-ray. Everything is very cloudy looking, but you can definitely see the anatomy of her legs. Yeah. You can also see her belly button that at the start of our project was not visible. The team also used the generative fill AI tool in Photoshop Beta to help reconstruct textures and colors on some of the areas covered by veils. It was able to take the information from all of the diagnostics and apply paint where it needed to be applied and create the image. But you have to use it wisely. You wouldn't want it to get too creative. Revealing the original nude image wasn't the only aim of the restoration. Two tiny micro samples were taken from the painting so that the restorers could find out what pigments Artemisia used and where exactly they're located. This enabled the restorers to choose the right materials and methods to use in the restoration. The samples were analysed under a powerful microscope using a technique called FTIR spectroscopy. This is one of the samples that the restorer had taken from the painting. It's uh, less than half a millimetre. It's yeah. very, very tiny. The microscope reads the sample by firing radiation through it. Some is absorbed by the material, and the rest, which passes through or reflects back, is recorded. This produces what's known as a spectrum. Different molecules produce different spectra, which researchers can use to identify what the samples are made of. The technology has produced cutting-edge instruments that are able to collect more than 1,000 spectra in a single shot, in one second, and with very high resolution. Here we can see the paint layers that compose the, the sample. What is very important is to try to take uh, as uh, small samples as we can, because, you know, we have to preserve the work of art as much as possible. I'm finally about to see a version of the image as Artemisia painted it in the 17th century. This is not quite finalized yet because we still, you see, we still have some veil. I'm really curious to know, what was your reaction when you first 
saw this image. Oh, I was very happy. People will be able to access this through a QR code that will be here at Casa Buonarroti, and it will also be online. How do you feel Artemisia would feel about this project? I think she would be very happy to know that people are interested in seeing what her original work looked like and that we're doing our best to reveal that without damaging any of her precious paint. She would not have been happy with the censorship. I think she would feel a bit vindicated.